Hey guys, DJ Damo here from Midnight Sounds. You made it this one from Panic at the Disco Tech. Panic at the Disco. <laughs> okay, first things first. I'll just give you a rundown on the system that's running at the moment. What it is, it's PCDJ FX, the FX standing for FX, of course. Um, the whole FX part of it works, but I'd rather not use that. What I actually rather use, if I'm going to use any sort of effects over music or anything like that, um, is my mixer. I use the Behringer UB1832 FX Pro. Uh, comes with about a hundred different effects, and I'll give you a bit of a demo on it. I'll just pick anything. Pretty much like that. If I want to use effects, I will. Um, okay, I'll just give you a look at the, the equipment that's inside the system. Uh, it is, it's a uh, PC setup, so it's all computerized. Uh, be a hard rundown to sort of pull the whole thing apart, show you how it all plugs in, but I'm sure you know how things plug in the back of the computer, be your mouse or things like that. Just letting you know, I don't use a mouse to mix with or anything like that. It's called DAC2. Uh, PC DJ now have released DAC3, which I'm hoping to get. But it's a DAC2 system, which basically, which is all this here, runs like a CD player. You, you, you know, you play, you pause, you cue, you pitch bends, all that sort of thing. Anyway, I'll just give you a look. A little jump around a bit now. Okay. Down here is the hard drive. That's pretty much what it looks like. Okay, it's a piece of DJ RM1 Mark II. Basically, yeah, you got your power button. Opens your drawers here, left and right, if you want to run like a CD player. Play and pause, and stop and open. And what I've rigged up, me and a friend of mine have rigged up, when people ask for a song, I slide this out. There we go. I just type in what I'm looking for and hit the mouse. Now that's the mixer that I'm using. So I mean, all the effects run through here. You pick your number, whatever effect you want. And all the effects are up here of what you want to use. Naturally, we don't want to use any effects at the moment. Also, with um, I don't know, I'll just pick another song to play in the background here. Yeah, that'll do. Uh, Stevie Nicks song was re redone by Deep Dish called Dreams. Now, as I was saying, with like CD players, this is the DAC 2. And as I said, you know, you got your cue, your play, or your pitch bends. It also runs a really cool, um, stop that one, go over here, just like dropping a vinyl on turntable, you press shift and Q, if you want to bring it back up again, you press shift and play, you get all the sound. So many pitch bends. Now if you want to pick effects, which actually runs on the system, you just press the effects button, she lights up, and it'll go straight into the effects and you pick what effects you want. Also if you have a wait list of music that you want to play through the night, bang, you hit your wait list, that just changed, jumped over to wait list, and I have to use the mouse at the moment to jump up. I don't even remember where I was now, that'll do. But basically when I hit wait list, I'll show you what it did. I then hit wait, wait list over here. Jumped into my wait list, which I've got music set aside for Saturday night and the party I'm having myself. Okay, uh, okay went up there. That's pretty much how the whole system runs. There's a whole range of things that it'll do. That's for recording. That's for doing some mixing, and that's PC DJ uh, karaoke.
basically you load the song over here, you can see where I'm searching, the song goes in here, and the artist or the singer, say Billy Bob John, whatever, he'll go in here with the song title as well, and you select your song and his name, and away he goes, he'll sing away for you. Alright, that's just a very quick rundown. Oops, sorry about that. On uh, PC DJ, just a quick rundown on how it all sort of works. But as I said before, you know, this is so much better. If someone asks for a song, I can just I click find. Let's say they want, um, I don't know, Sure Knows Something by Kiss. Uh, can I can just type in Sure Knows Something, or Know Something, or Kiss, and bang up it comes. Normally, a lot of the time at gigs, people ask for certain artists, and they say, you know, that song that goes doof doof. Yeah, okay, I know what you're talking about. I'm a mind reader. Anyway, what I do is I search for the artist, and a lot of the time they go, Oh, they do that song too. Actually, do pick that one instead. But alright, I like that song better anyway. So, yeah, we'll go through a few more videos on how um, karaoke works, more on how this runs, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video. See you later.